Hello guys and girls, welcome back. You up for a £500, £2 coin hunt? Yeah! I've got a £500 bag from the post office as usual on a Thursday and this is from Birchwood which I think is in Cheshire. So uh, yay! Well, I do have to turn it over? Too heavy. <laughs> Shall we look at the book first? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're looking for Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games. Yay, we're looking for uh, the Mary Rose. That would be a fabulous find. And we're still looking for the Roundel, London Underground Roundel. And everything else up to the 2016 we have. And we also have um, 10, is it pesos? Pesos? Yeah, 10 pesos. Yes, there we are. Okay, let's get the book out of the way and get this show on the road. Woohoo! Here we go. Ready? Hey, these scissors are brand, aren't they? Mm. Ooh oh, this is one of my, oh, best part of the week this is. Mm, I know. Are we lined up? Okay, let's move the scissors out of the way. We have uh, Master Temple's Treasures Gong. And also, don't forget, there's painting with uh, Master Temple as well which is fantastic, a lovely Sunday morning watch for me. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit late, sorry. Um, <laughs> and we've got Purple Fairies, Little P, and oh my goodness, is he a lucky P. Mm -hmm. uh, now then, somebody else said to me, or said on a comment, sorry, that they have the lucky baton. Well, <laughs> Glenn from Mac and Moolah Coins, we'll see. <laughs> Here we go then, let's make ourselves some room and get on with it. Yeah, stop talking. <laughs> Can you still see what's going on? I've moved the camera out a little bit because uh, I just think you can see better and uh, I don't have much room, but hopefully we'll still be in focus. Okay, first bag out, edge roll. Here we go. Is that something, the first one, is that something on the top already? My goodness, woo, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna start with a five. <laughs> first, first coin out, okay, okay. Let's hope this is a, a good omen. This is 2016, but I don't mind because I love Britannia. Yes, love a Britannia. Keeper for me, okay. We're gonna yeah, the rest is empty. Well, it's not a bus, I could get that one, but hey, you know what I mean. Okay, so that was a fantastic start. Second one in. Oh my word. Okay. Oh, yes, we have got victory in Europe. Okay, you want me to give you the details, of course, don't you? 2016 Britannia. Um, Quater Maria Vindico is the edge inscription and it's 2.9 million just over or 2,925,000 and we have got Victory in Europe which is end of World War II, 60th anniversary in Victory Magnanimity in Peace Goodwill and this one is just under 10.2 million. Yay. So I might move that to the bottom line and the next one out is a Magna Carta. <laughs> Oh, okay. I hope um, I'm getting excited because I've got a good bag full. 2015 Foundation of Liberty. Oh, this is the 800, 800th anniversary of the signing of the Magna Carta. The coin is 2015 and the edge inscription is Foundation of Liberty. And that's the first time I think I've read that one out. And it's just under 1.5 million. An absolute beauty and a keeper in my eyes that's something as well and luckily it's down that way so we've got a flipper okay no it's not a bag full of goodies but we did find a second one i think nice yeah right, edge roll What 
that's that on there. Not sure what that is. Oh no, it's it is standing on the shoulders. I think this one's a a bust. It is indeed. Oh, oh, did you see it? Yeah, you did. Okay, third coin in. You know what that one is, so. Can't see anything else? No, okay. Third one is Marconi's Radio Waves Across the Atlantic, and Marconi is a uh, 2001 coin, so that's one of the earlier ones. Uh, wireless Bridges um, the Atlantic 1901 is the edge inscription and it is 4,558,000. Nice, not a keeper, I've got a few, don't need any more. There we go. I look like I'm in fast forward. <laughs> I know, I'm trying my best to speed it up. I'm sure something can hold me up to talk about. There we go. Can't see anything, can you? Okay, that looks bust. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, this is the um, Act of Union between Scotland and England. The coin is 2007 and it's united into one kingdom. And the mintage is 7,545,000. I will be checking afterwards uh, the edge inscriptions and... Um, for any uh, rotation errors, anything unusual, but uh, to speed up the video, I'm not doing that at the moment. This is the abolition of the slave trade. This is 2007 as well. Am I not a man and a brother? And the mintage is 8,445,000. Uh, sentimental coin, I find that one very uh, moving. Yay. There we go. Oops. Okay. There we go. Anything in there? Can't see anything myself, can you? No. No, I think this is a bust. There we are. My video is um, going out a little late, which um, I'm expecting it to. Uh, I apologise. And uh, Maybe I'll explain later, but uh, uh, not at the moment. Okay, what's that one in there? Oh, we've got something in there. There we are. What a piece of work is a man. And this is Shakespeare, Shakespeare's Tragedies. And Shakespeare's Tragedies is a 2016 coin. What a piece of work is a man. And that's the correct edge inscription because I... I uh, caught it when we were looking through, and that is 4,615,000, and another beauty, in very good condition, I love that coin, mm. I can't tell you what my favourites are, what are your favourites, yeah, let me know in the comments below, what is your favourite design, £2 coin, mm. can I choose, it changes, it doesn't it, that's the trouble when something new comes out, um, what's that first one? Is that something? I can't see it very well. So there is something there, I believe, the first one. Yeah, there is. Not sure what that is, but it's a twister. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably saw it. I know you've got good eye. another DNA double helix. Lovely. We haven't um, heard back from the Royal Mint yet about the one with the... Um, Hang on, what's going on here? Is that a rotation error? Okay, I'll have to get another coin out to check. Uh, but uh, dot on the bottom. Are we in focus? I hope so. Uh, dot on the bottom and the point of the Queen's neck to the top. All right, and we're going to turn over. I think that's got a bit of a twiddle on, you know. And what I was going to say was, we're still waiting on um, our DNA to come back from the Royal Mint. Uh, that, if you haven't seen it, I uh, found a, what I believe to be an error coin. And I'll just explain it to you if you haven't seen. And it has 
the 2 is damaged here by the W on the uh, reverse and on the obverse the E and the L are sort of shall we say scratched out but the coin is in absolutely beautiful condition so uh, where the, the, the raw mints first look on the photograph said that one side was an error and the other wasn't it was a uh, damage after mintage so uh, we'll see what uh, they send back that'll be interesting won't it and at least it's another error coin if it's just the w well hey we've got a dna uh, error coin but we'll see and so as soon as that comes back i'll do a little video on it and let you know i've had a quiet week this week so if you haven't heard from me um, and uh, I've got some catching up to do on uh, video. So if you haven't heard from me, I do apologise, but um, I will be uh, doing my catch-ups. Nice find. Ooh, lovely. Uh, this is the London Underground, and this is the train, of course. And uh, the train is the 150th anniversary of the of London Underground, 2013. And it's... Uh, it's that uh, it's that's a representation of the tube map which it is now if the tube map was designed by a gentleman who is an absolute genius you know instead instead of doing a map with all these windy uh, uh, marks of it like a normal map um, he squared them all off and gave them uh, 90 degree angles and changed the color for the uh, levels and things for the underground absolute brilliance I love it anyway the uh, Mintage is 1,690,000. Sorry, I got distracted. Lovely find, Keeper. Yay. Beautiful. So, yes, I might have to compare my finds with um, Glenn from Macamula's finds, because as I say, he said he's got the lucky baton. But so far, we have not found anything for the book, so that's what we're after. A bit of treasure for the book. Hmm. I wouldn't mind... Um, uh, what they're called a territories one that'd be nice wouldn't it <laughs> that's a bust sorry if you can hear the bus outside <laughs> it's on a junction here we go right we've got something in there fourth cut coin in any more righty ho we've got at least one and it is this one and it's Shakespeare's comedies. Here we go. Let's get it up the right way. Mm -hmm. That's the masks for uh, Shakespeare's comedies. Where are we? Shakespeare. And the comedies coin is 2016. In fact, all of the uh, um, Shakespeare's coins are 2016. And the edge inscription is all the world to stage. And that's correct. And it is 4,355,000. So, hmm. Not bad. Actually, I'll put that with the other. Move that one along, put that one down there. I think you can see everything that's going on. Here we go. Another abolition. No, nope. I always say that, don't I? Active union between Scotland and England. We've already covered that one, so I'll put that one down. Yay. Don't mean me, me to read it out twice, you can remember. <laughs> I think the only... Uh, mintage figures I can remember for two pound coins are the um, 2015 um, thingy, what's her name, Britannia, and the uh, Royal Navy. That's the only two I can remember the mintage figures on because they're both the same and low. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so we're talking about favourite um, designs on the two pound coin earlier, and um, yes, Magna Carta. It's attached to history as well, you see, that's the thing. Mm. Oh, demolition, sorry, I've just knocked something over. There we are. It's back. I use a board with uh, the uh, with my notes on, but it also reflects the light from the window, which is a great trick if you're videoing and you've got the light coming in from one side. If you put a sheet of white paper on the opposite side, you get a great reflection of the light, which improves your video quality. See if I would take the board away. Is that making a difference? No, not really. <laughs> Mind you, it's not dark because uh, 
Yeah, it's relatively bright all round in here today. Mm. Okie doke, what else have we got here? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got one in here, but uh, it's towards the end, so... Hey, there it is. Okay, and it's um, World War One Army. There we are. We're going to check the edge inscription of this for King and Country. That's correct. And there's no rotation error on there. There we go. And uh, Army uh, World War One is the hundredth anniversary of, and uh, the coin is 2016. Edge inscription. Sorry, it's gone again. Edge inscription 2016. Sorry. Edge inscription for king and country and rotation. The sorry, <laughs> uh, sorry, I got in a bit of a mucky fuddle then. Nine million five hundred fifty thousand vintage. Apologies, guys and girls. Oh, that's in good condition, isn't it? Not bad. And we've had one of these out. This is um, the Second World War, and this is the um, victory in Europe. We've got the uh, searchlights on St Paul's. Sorry, I lost my uh, place completely then. And we will find it in a minute. End of World War Two. Yeah. It should say, in victory, magnanimity, in peace, goodwill. But I check these now. Um, in peace, that's it. I've got that one. Oh, sorry, guys and girls. I've got a bit of a... I knocked all my coins over as well. Mmm. I know. Stuff going on. My brain's in a bit of a mush. There we are. Let's concentrate on the coins. Alrighty. Didn't see anything in there, did you? Me. Oh, tummy grumble. Sorry, I can hear it. <laughs> and that's another 1807. And it's the abolition of the slave trade. And we're not a man and a brother. And it's the orange peel finish again. Uh, you'd know, if, if you got uh, one of the um, ones that are made for the sets only, it would, it's like mirror finish. And uh, you wouldn't even need to see the initials, but you can. They're under the seven. Uh, but absolute mirror finish. So you would notice that you've got a different uh, coin. And that's the one to look out for in a hunt. There we go. No, I thought the third one in was, but it's not. Oh, and another victory in Europe. There we are. Okie doke. I'm throwing the coins now. <laughs> I've usually got neat little piles, but today they're in a... <laughs> amount. Oh, what's that? Oh no, that's down there. All right, what's that one? No, okay, another bust. Oh, no, it's not. I missed that one. Another victory in Europe. Okay. So I will check all the edge inscriptions properly. And I might check for anything odd or rotation errors. Not that I need any more of those, I have to say. Got a few. Right. Leave them for others. Uh, I think, oh, I don't know whether it's last week or the week before. Um, you know, you keep things back. You think, oh, that's low mintage. I'll keep that. I did throw a lot back. Um, we've got one there. Um, into the uh, bank, uh, just in a mixture with other coins from a hunt. Because um, I know some of them are worth more than face value. But uh, to me, £2, £2. And unless it's really something special uh, it went back into the uh, pot to give everybody a chance this is in good condition uh, for king and country correct uh, edge inscription and no rotation error where are they there we are okay a few bags left okay anything in there yeah we've got something in there Alrighty. Nice. And now we have the set. This is uh, Shakespeare's Histories and it is the Hollow Crown. 
Uh, we'll just check that one. Yes, it's a hollow crown. Yeah, sorry. I thought that was a W for a minute. It's an H. Yeah, okay. So Shakespeare's Histories is uh, 2016, the hollow crown. And the hollow crown is 5,655,000. Righty ho. So we put that one with that one and we've got a little Shakespeare set. Nice. Wow. Nothing for the book so far. Ooh, I know. Come on. We've got a beak Glen. Get that baton back. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's nice. I love to see other people have um, good luck. This is uh, Trinity House, uh, Trinity Lighthouse. It's 500th anniversary of the. The coin is 2014. And the edge inscription is Serving the Mariner. I'll just check that. Yes, it is. Sorry, I had to turn it up. Serving the Mariner. And the mention is 3,705,000. Nice. There we are. Don't keep those anymore. Another 1807. Boom, boom. Okie doke. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a bust. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bust. Okay. Two bags after this one. Louis, let's have a look. Now, I don't know if you, um, if I've said this to you before, but um, let me just get a pointer out of my thingy. Just have a look at this edge inscription. I hope you can see it. I hope you're in focus. Um, let's just see if I can press the camera to focus it. There we are. Okay, so we've got standing on the on the shoulders of giants, but that edge inscription there looks bigger than that one. Now I've said this before. Let's get it in the right place, up the right way. Uh, standing. That's shoulders. Okay, right. So put that shoulders there, and we'll move that one out of the way. Oh, it looks so. Doesn't look so bad now. It looks um, a different size to me. But hey, there we are. That's just me. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just got distracted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's move that out of the way. Where are we? Two bags, yep. Nothing for the book. Ooh, come on. Come on, well, something for the book. <laughs> I'm expecting to go on for quite some time with these two pound coin hunts. This is the last bag um, because uh, I'm not going to start another book until I've uh, completed these. I'm not going to, uh, I purchased one Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games for my display box. Uh, but I'm not going to purchase any more. I'm just going to keep on hunting until I find them. But I don't feel the need to uh, start another book. I just would like to make sure that I've got my uh, uh, album book finished and uh, completed properly and done by hunting. So I'm going to stick it out. <laughs> That's it, guys and girls. Uh, well, we've had some fantastic finds. So uh, just bring you in a bit. I'll move the mat so you can see that way just a tad. And down a bit. No, up a bit. There we are. Okay. So, um, keepers. We're going to keep the 2016 Britannia because I love it. We're going to keep the uh, Magna Carta because, well, it's low mintage and great coin. 
We're going to keep the London Underground because that's another one that's uh, relatively low mintage. And um, what was the London Underground train? Uh, 1.69 million. So, uh, yeah, we're keeping that one. Uh, we've got two flippers. Yeah, we've got a DNA. I'm not sure about that. I've got to check, see if there's a rotation error on that against another coin. So, here we go. I think it's uh, I think it's uh, the hollow crown. Ready? Oh no, how could I be so wrong? Oh, the sure shield of Britain. This is 650,000, uh, First World War Navy, 2015 of course. Looks a bit yucky da, but hey, I'll give it the magic uh, baby wipes and see what happens. Uh, give that a clean up. Um, Last one. I won't turn this over yet. I haven't got the baby wipes with me, so I can't do it now. Uh, right, this one. I think this is Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Oh, it's another end of World War Two, which we found a few of those, didn't we? Five of those. Mm -hmm. So it leaves me to uh, say thank you very much for joining me. If you could give me the thumbs up, that would really help the channel. Um, I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite design. Not out of these, out of all the £2 coins. Um, I think I'd have to write a list myself, but out of what I found, DNA, Magna Carta. I have to say the Royal Navy because it just... <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> there we are. I, I can't explain it. It's just the way it is. Nothing for the album, sadly, but hey-ho. I'm not complaining. Thanks very much for joining me, guys and girls. Take care until the next one. Bye-bye.